What is up, guys and girls, and welcome to Talk of the Tyne, the era after Shearer. Take it away, big man. What is up, guys? Let's uh, crack on with this episode. It's been different. Uh, to start with, obviously, we all know the issue we're having with Michael Owen. It's not great. But we can't, we can't play him. We're not allowed to play him. I, I don't want to play him. It's not something I want to do. So, the issue we've got is we've got to try and make sure that we've got other strikers that can do the job. Right now, we don't. <laughs> because the two main strikers I, I wanted to play, Oberfemi Martins and Shola Amiobi, are both injured for a long time. So, Amiobi is out for with a hip injury for up to two months and he's already been out a month um, and Obafemi Martins is out for up to three months with a broken foot so that's that sucks yeah so we've been having to play I've been trying to play Andy Carroll he's not been doing great um, which is a bit of a shame because that's one of, he's one of the players that I wanted to sort of bring along with with this series Andy Carroll um, is one of the uh, guys I wanted to sort of make a a centerpiece of this series, if you like, but he's not really performing too well. So we've had to use Giuseppe Rossi, who we've got on loan from Man United. I didn't bring him in; he was already here. We also had Scott Parker out for a couple of uh, games, but he's back now, which is absolutely brilliant. Let's go to the highlights and check out how we've done up until now. Then we've got a, a massive game against Feyenoord in the Euro Cup. So let's go to the highlights now, and I'll see you back here soon. <laughs> So in a game largely dominated by Blackburn Rovers with the Lancashire outfit managing 13 shots on target to Newcastle's three, the home side can count themselves lucky to come away with this game with a point. Thomas Hitzelsberger downed the Newcastle side who have failed to score a goal for 270 minutes with a second half brace. Kyle X, who is confusing the Newcastle fans with his adamance that Michael Owen won't play under him, may find himself under pressure unless he can find a way out of this rut United find themselves in. This loss against Tottenham certainly wouldn't help. Newcastle found the net twice in this away game against Villarreal, but both Martin's attempts were ruled offside, meaning Rodolfo's goal on the 26th minute was enough to see the home team take all three points, opening the Group L right up. Newcastle scored for the first time in five games with Scott Parker coming back from injury and firing in a 26th minute equaliser after Tony Hibbert put the Toffees ahead on the 13th minute. Parker hit back on the 68th minute to give the home team the lead with a marvellous effort from outside the box before Andy Johnson netted on four minutes into added time. Next up, Newcastle travelled south to the Majeski Stadium to play Reading and it couldn't have started worse for Magpies as Nicky Butt saw a red after 30 minutes. Stephen Taylor managed to pull the away team ahead with a close range effort after Frederick headed down a Wesley Snyder free kick. The lead didn't last long as second half goals from Kevin Doyle and Leroy Lita put the Royals ahead before substitute Giuseppe Rossi pulled back the equaliser on the 87th minute. And that brings us up to date, apart from two little transfer dealings. It might be time... For a Kyle X party because Michael Owen looks to have been sold, hasn't gone through yet. 19 million pounds to Leon. Now, it was worth 40 million pounds or 30 million pounds, I think it was. I haven't played him all season, so I think his value has gone down. I'd be happy to get his 80,000 80, pound wage budget off the uh, books, to be fair. 
and £19 million in the transfer coffers. We have also got rid of Babiaro um, to Al Itihad. Um, and he, de- he didn't really want to go. He wasn't playing. I'm building my own team. And I've got a player, a Signorino plays ahead of him in the uh, left wing back position. So we've already got it, that player sorted. Uh, and that's another 30k off the wage budget. So that's 120k, 110k off the wage budget. That will take our wage, our spending down a little bit. And hopefully our tra- transfer budget up a bit. Um, so we are currently spending a bit over what we should be. Not too much to be fair. Once these two are gone, it should bring it right down. So that's interesting. This is the team we're going to go with to play Feyenoord. As I said, we've got both our main strikers out, uh, Obi, Obafemi Martins and Shola Amiobi. Let's try saying them two twice. No, try saying them two three times over again. I'm getting tongue twisted just thinking about it. Uh, Andy Carroll is on the bench. Um, I do still want to give him some game time because I do feel like we need to get him to play better. We're going to be playing quite narrow here because I did want to play with two strikers, but Schneider's not really a, a striker. We can't really play in the up top. So I'm going to have to play him behind him unless I put Andy Carroll beside Rossi. The, the, thing, the issue I've got with that, though, is the fact that then we're going to sort of be a bit loose at the back because at the minute he's supporting so he'll he'll drop into midfield and he'll go up and help Rossi. If I just put Carroll up there then we're going to struggle with you know having uh, two players up there and no one back here and this is going to be a tough game and an important game because if we don't win it we could see ourselves knocked straight out of Europe in this one game. We were doing so well but it seems like saying that it seems like Feyenoord lost to Hearts in the last game so it might not be a hard game but it is a very important game. Anyway let's stop talking about it and let's crack on and see how we did. There we go so they're playing quite um, narrow to be fair so maybe we should look to go more wide. Um, We're not playing completely narrow so we could score qualification for the first knockout round here. Let's go for that. Give them some inspiration. We'll see how we play, but if we can, if we can, we'll we'll uh, change it up a bit and maybe go a bit wider if it's it's not working. We've not had the best of uh, time recently, so it could. What the hell was that? It could be a big problem for us. concentrate right so another thing I do need to say that I forgot to mention is that man right there as I'm as I've been brought to his he's been brought to my attention we did give him a new contract we gave him a new contract because I didn't like seeing him on that you know player unhappiness chart um so we did give him a new contract and I wouldn't say he deserves it necessarily he's not done anything bad but he's not done anything good but that goal there might be what just earned in that new contract if 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 that goal gets us through to this next round then i'd say giving him that contract was definitely worth it ryan taylor nicky but taylor gets it in and zogby nearly got another one good save by the keeper there Oh, Giuseppe Rossi offside. Come on. I've not been looking forward to this live comp because we've been playing so badly offline that, yeah, I was a bit worried about us not scoring any goals. Scott Parker's picked up another yellow card. And that's half time. I think we might look to go a bit more, a bit wider, um, just because... I feel like we can get a bit more out of this team if we do that. It's that one, isn't it? Um, So if we go wide and we'll um, mix the crosses because we've got him up top. Um, Focus play down the left and right. Yeah, we'll go with that. Start second half. I'm not sure how we'll fare, in all fairness, if we don't if we draw this. I don't know if we draw this, we might go up. Um as long as we beat hearts, we might go through 
as well as Villarreal, but I'm not 100 percent yet. So we we we're just going to go to to win it. We want to win it. Um, attacking, we're going to drop from attacking to positive because I, th- I, t- I tend to find we play a bit better when we're positive rather than attacking. Signorino Parker. Rossi gets it across the goal. Oh, saved by the keeper. We've got a free kick. Schneider's going to take. He whips it in. Stephen Taylor's there at the back post, but so is Timmer to stop the attempt. Hearts 1, Villarreal 1. Hearts are doing all right at the minute, actually, to be fair. Solano's made a few mistakes, so we might have to look at taking Solano off. Um, we'll bring on... Mr. Milner, see if he can make any difference. We've had only had six shots to their ten, but we've had every shot on target, whereas they've not. So it's good and bad, really. We're not we're not doing anything special, to be fair. Um, we're going to give them a uh, demand more shout because we've not we've been quite loose with the shouts at the minute, and they've just brought on Albert Luque. If he screws me over here, I'm not going to be happy. It's always the way, isn't it? It's always the way. The ex player c- comes up and becomes the the person who sticks the fawn in you or the dagger in your side, and it nearly was right there. If it wasn't for given safe hands. Right, let's go cautious. We're going to go cautious now. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring, bring Schneider back into midfield. As a little bit more reinforcement at the back. Ryan Taylor with the throw to Milner. Ryan Taylor back in again. Schneider's there. Zogbia, Parker, you can hit him from there, but this time the goalkeeper is equal to it. Five minutes of added time. Of added time, of time left even. Shouldn't be five minutes of added time. Um, we will uh, tighten up now though. Nicky Butt, well defended there, gets it away. Parker's there. Out to Taylor. Taylor all the way back to Given, and he's it was a dangerous move. Signorino clears up the mess there. Friedrich. Oh my God, Friedrich. God. Heart attack. Milner. If we score a goal out of this, it's going to be an absolute miracle. Okay. 30 seconds of added time left and it's a corner. Ryan Taylor's going to whip, whip, whip one in. He gets it in and it's cleared straight out to Friedrich. Back out to Taylor. Gets it in. And I think that's going to be it. Full time. We win. And that puts us through, guaranteed, I think, unless Villarreal um, can absolutely batter Feyenoord, I think that will put us through, guaranteed. Hearts is our next game, and we can't, even if we lose that, they've still, if, if we, actually I say that, if we lose against Hearts, then um, Villarreal only have to win 2-0 against Feyenoord. So, it is still... All to play for. But then even then, if Villarreal beat Feyenoord, we go up in second place. So I think we're all back, basically through. Um, so we won't come back um, for the Euro Cup group game against Hearts. But we will have a look at where we will come back uh, in just a second. Let's just give them these uh, team talk. So yeah, we will probably come back. I don't know. It depends who we get in the Euro Cup. And also, we have got the FA Cup coming up. That's probably that's probably too far away, to be fair. So, we might come back for we might come back for Chelsea. Maybe the Chelsea game we'll come back for. That seems like a good game to 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 televise, and it's already been televised there. So, yeah, we'll come back for the Chelsea game, guys. So, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you want to hit me up in the messages, drop a message below the video and I'll always try and message back. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.